Hey, so what's going on guys? Make here with Drug the Reviews and welcome back to another video. So in today's video, I'm going to be introducing to you a budget mount setup for uh, your 360 camera or your GoPro or whatever action camera you have, especially if you do want to mount it and get some very nice external shots, especially if like me and you like to shoot your driving footage outside the car, especially with your 360 camera. And you are on a budget and you don't want to spend like uh, two, three hundred ringgit on a mount from a brand like Small Rig or other bigger brands. Uh, look no further than this mount I have right here. So this mount I have right here is a single suction cup mount. Of course, it's not going to be able to handle like, I would say like a mirrorless camera or something like that. That's a bit too big in my opinion. Or, or even your 360 cam with the selfie stick because I've actually tried it with the selfie stick and without the selfie stick and honestly this can only hold up to uh, I guess uh, a selfie stick that's not fully extended in my testing if you are just going to be using just like a GoPro or your Insta360 one inch like I have right here alone you're not going to have any issues if you're using uh, with a selfie stick or some other extendable uh, mount or something like that this is not going to be able to handle the weight however you need to buy two so i'll be covering that in a future video on how to actually get a very stable mount on a budget anyways we are here to actually talk about this uh, suction cup bracket so the good thing about this it has both the gopro standard as you can see right here and also a quarter inch so you can mount it to something like the insta360 so that's a good thing factoring that it only costs around 30 to 40 ringgit roughly around that for this mount Instead of buying a triple suction cup uh, and only getting one mount i used to buy two of this and a clamp a super clamp the one they used to hold the lights the studio lighting and stuff like that uh, and the total only cost me around 113 ringgit so yeah pretty good deal but anyway i'll be covering that much later but anyways we are here for the unboxing of this this brand is pretty good and has been around pretty long, uh, especially they specialize in GoPro accessories. So this brand and also a brand like Kingma, they all come from almost the same factory and they have a pretty good standard in terms of QC. Of course, you're not going to be getting like small rig or Manfrotto, those kind of uh, level of build. But yeah, you'll definitely get the job done. And yeah, on a budget, these things definitely do work. Okay, so let's do the unboxing real quick. So uh, it actually came in pretty quick. It was from a local store, which I will leave the link in the description below. Let me try to get this out. All right, so after we painfully got the the seal off, this is what we are greeted with. So for the price, you're not just getting plastic, you're getting metal, uh, metal grip. So that is actually really good. And you do want something like metal when it comes to holding your camera out of the car and driving like pretty fast, right? Because if it's all plastic, most likely it will just break into pieces or crack or something like that. And I obviously didn't want that to happen. So that's the reason why I did my research and actually decided to go with this one. Okay, so let me quickly take it out of the packaging. Okay, so basically that's it. Put all that to the side. All right, so what do we get? So inside we do get a quick start guide, I believe. It's in Mandarin. I do not read Mandarin. We get a one GoPro style thumb screw of course i do recommend a shorter thumb screw uh, especially if you have some lying around if you do use a gopro the shorter ones will work better with the 360 cameras because it's able to hide in the stitch line if you're using something like this it will kind of show a bit if you're at the wrong angle it will kind of show a bit uh, this this portion right here the wing itself so yeah in my testing this is a bit too big too long so definitely use the gopro one if you do have or just get one off uh, eBay or something okay so this is uh, what I was using so of course I initially thought let me get this all out of the way okay so let's take this all out let me quickly show you guys okay so initially I thought I was able to remove this ball and just use this so yeah you do have to mount this to the GoPro uh, attachment which is not too bad but of course i did want something more sturdy so i expected a ball mount with this but it is what it is of course comes at a cheap price so definitely there are sacrifices so we do get a very generic phone clamp yeah so that comes in the package as well of course the suction cup 
thumb screw attachment with the quarter inch and then we get some cleaning wipes so wet and dry um, I believe this is not necessary I believe you just need a microfiber cloth uh, just a damp microfiber cloth to clean off the surface before you install uh, you're not going to be using this uh, so yeah it's good they included it anyways okay so let me get back to the mount itself so of course we do have a protector layer like a protective film so you do have to read instructions yeah it's pretty basic so in order to loosen this is for both the ball joints right here you have to twist it of course you can see it goes loose and it's really really sturdy trust me it's really really sturdy being metal and the ball being actually pretty solid so if once i tighten it definitely there's no flex to this at all and the suction cup is actually pretty good I expected the suction cup to actually kind of suck but uh yeah no puns intended but yeah it does suck very well indeed so yeah when you stick it on the surface of course they do recommend like a smooth surface which i do recommend myself if you're doing driving shots definitely you can stick it on the glass or on the car body itself but i prefer to stick it on the glass because you know just has better absorption so you just need to flick this and it clamps right on so really simple and it, it is really really good for the price so this ball joint very simple so how do you mount the quarter inch so very simple just have to do something like a GoPro style finger. So you just need to slot it in. And from here, this is the tricky part. You do have to align it well. Let me try to get it in. Yes. So there you go. So once you're done with this, you can actually just mount your 360 camera like what I'm doing right here. Just mount your 360 camera. You can see. Really sturdy. It's not going anywhere. Of course, you need to make sure this thumb screw is actually tight you can see right here and of course this as well see it's not going anywhere and this uh insta360 is the heaviest one of them all so yeah you can see right here holding the weight really well so yeah definitely i can recommend this uh this mount of course if you are doing something more aggressive you will definitely need two yeah knocking it down as well so you definitely need two of these mounts but if you're going to be just using one camera, getting some uh, some shots like this, you're going to definitely just use one. You don't need like two of these. So in order to install the GoPro on this mount, is same. Just need to install the GoPro fingers into the mount. Just like this. Install this right here. So let me try to get this in. Okay, so basically, you can see what I'm doing. Like this. Then you got your GoPro mount. As simple as that. Okay, so I uh, will definitely leave the links in the description below if you're interested to pick one of these up for yourself. So I'll be giving you guys the tutorial on how to actually mount this properly outside your car because you do not want to have your camera like flying out, especially if it's a very expensive camera like the Insta360 one inch I have right here. So I'm actually really paranoid about having this outside the car, but. With this setup, we're having two of the suction cups and also the super clamp. Yeah, it definitely just gets the job. Alright, so guys, I hope you liked this video. If you did like it, do give it a thumbs up and do subscribe to this channel for more content just like this one. And I'll catch you guys in the next video.